This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. What's up, everyone? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, I'll be covering a substance called Prozac. This is an antidepressant SSRI that is typically taken on a daily basis in order to combat problems like anxiety and stress. When compared to other SSRIs, Prozac has a strong energizing effect. This makes it highly effective in treatment of clinical depression cases in which symptoms like unhappy mood and shortage of energy are present. I'll go over the benefits, dangers, side effects, history, and everything else in between. Let's get into it. Fluoxetine, more commonly known as Prozac, originally emerged as a pioneer in the then new category of drugs called selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. It is a widely prescribed psychiatric medication used to treat anxiety, eating disorders, depressive episodes, and obsessive compulsive disorder. Fluoxetine is among one of the most prescribed antidepressants in the United States with more than 23 million prescriptions being handed out in 2020. Moreover, the World Health Organization recognizes Prozac as an essential medicine. It is essential. Regarding the history, fluoxetine was discovered by Eli Lilly and Company in 1972 and entered medical use in 1986. Within just the first year of annual sales in the United States, Prozac reached $350 million in revenue. Worldwide sales eventually peaked at $2.6 billion. But Prozac's popularity wasn't just the result of a breakthrough in medical science, it was also in a marketing scheme. When I start each morning, when my kids need a playmate, when I'm celebrating with family, Prozac Weekly is here. Ask your doctor if it's right for you. The marketing helped commercialize the idea that our moods are neurochemical and we can do things that directly alter the way we feel. In addition, the name Prozac was coined to symbolize a few different signs. The first syllable, pro, was designed to suggest professional. The last two letters in the name, AC, was used to communicate activity. This, coupled with the Z, makes it sound that much more punctual and powerful. The marketing also pushed the medication to be advertised in popular financial magazines. This was an attempt to create a buzz around the concept that the drug could help boost your ability to make you more money. All of these marketing schemes allowed Prozac to develop a near cult-like following. Ever since then, Prozac has been widely used across the globe and is still used by millions to this day. While currently also marketed under the brand names of Seraphim, Rapiflux, and Selfrima, the generic medication is typically sold as dissolving tablets or capsules and is taken by mouth. It can be taken at any stage of the day, but it is recommended to take it at the same time on a daily basis to allow your body to adapt at a consistent rate. The most important part of our routine is Prozac. The typical starting dose is 20 milligrams per day, but this can be gradually increased over time up to 60 milligrams per day. Treatment usually lasts around 12 to 26 weeks, and it can be continued for a longer period of time if tolerated well. The drug can remain in your body for up to three months after it stops. Side effects of the drug can entail nausea, insomnia, headache, confusion, suppressed appetite, depersonalization, or mood change. Additionally, it should not be used in conjunction with MAO inhibitors due to the increase in risk of developing serotonin syndrome. Furthermore, Prozac may reduce the action of certain serotonergic substances such as psychedelics and intactogens. So if you plan to trip on acid or shrooms or dab on other drugs like MDMA, it would probably be a smart idea to skip your Prozac dose a few days prior. Like mentioned earlier, Prozac is an SSRI, but there are still other antidepressants available that don't affect serotonin like Prozac does. One of them is called Wellbutrin, and it helps defeat habits like overeating and overthinking. Watch this video next to learn everything you'll know about bupropion, aka Wellbutrin. If you're interested in antidepressant medications that don't heavily impact serotonin like Prozac does, you'll definitely want to learn how Wellbutrin is used to treat issues like clinical depression. My name is Fish and I stay low-key. Peace out.